Contestant number five, Evie Liu, beat the kids. When I was five years old, my mom always confused me. I thought my name was My God. She would look at me and say, My God, stop crying. My God, eat your food. My brother, one year older, all the time, I thought his name was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, don't kill your sister. We were not easy kids. My brother and I, the dream team, we challenged our parents' comfort zone. We add colors to the walls, like this. Hey, sis, this afternoon, bra, mom will go shopping. We will go to the lake swimming. It's OK. We'll go home early. But we never came home early. Usually, mom came too early with a weapon in her hand. My God, Jesus, I told you reverse danger. Come home. Play, play. Hysterical mom. My father, he is different. He is cool, calm. I thought he was in CIA. <laughs> Check, investigate all the time, like this. Effie, bring me your school bag. Show me your paper. B, B again. You have problem with air. You know, A is for apple, B is for beet. Give me your hand, B, B, bring home apple. <laughs> My father drove us to school every day, and every day he told the teacher, teacher, if these two do not behave, beat them. My mom, she would beg a cake and went to the neighbor, Mrs. Chan, how are you? I beg a cake for you. If my kids steal your flowers again, uh, beat them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told you life is not fair. We were trying to be funny, humorous, and these old people beat us all the time. <laughs> I didn't understand why, why, why. My mom explained why. Play more, beat more. You young, you don't understand. You all, you understand. <laughs> Stay alive, huh? remember. Life has to be lived forward. Forward. But it can only be understood backward. Backward. I was like, huh? Hey, now I'm older and alive. So I look back. Oh, understood. <laughs> now it's my turn. It's our turn. Now we beat the kids. Beat it, beat it, just beat it. When kids trying to be funny, they are no longer human. That's why we use it. Beat it. Oh, funny. People stop beating kids nowadays. My friend says, we don't beat, we communicate. <laughs> I was like, come on, people. Kids, they don't need communication. They need physical sensation. <laughs> Wake them up. Another friend asked me to pray for her son. I was like, hello, he doesn't need praying. He needs beating. <laughs> to beat or not to beat, that is not the question <laughs> to be is to love and love hurts painful but it's good to beat you need powerful weapon my mom told me three secrets to choose powerful for weapon for beating rule number one your weapon should look naturally scary this 100% letter, natural, scary. This U.S. cotton, natural fiber, scary. And this <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> Toastmasters. Second rule, your weapon should not have the capacity 
to kill the kid. No killing, just beating. <laughs> Children are our future. We need them. I understand some kids are really funny. Oh, in that case, you need a gun. When they go crazy, you go crazy too. Pull the gun, pull the kid out there. Boom! Fire the gun. You have high chance of killing a bird. Boom! Dead bird. With a dead bird, show it to the kid. Kid off! See? Naughty bird. Dead. No, this means, this means we are going to have barbecue tonight. Confuse them. Suspense. <laughs> the third rule, oh, your weapon must have a lifetime durability. Taskmasters have vision. Kids grow up with top quality weapon. One day you give them away. Wedding gift, graduation gift, my father, okay, for you. Now we don't beat you anymore. You young, B is for beat. You all, B is for boss. Take care, be good boss, no bail out. My mom hangs her quality weapon on the wall, dear. Historical item, symbol of her past glory. Whenever we visit, we are inspired to be the boss. We are reminded one simple truth. Life is not fair. Life is fun. Well, Toastmasters, whether you beat or beaten, sometimes we don't understand. A stay alive, huh? With the right attitude, life is always fun. Do you agree with me? Yes. So beat it. Just beat it. Let's beat Contest Master. Yes.